Hello, fellow voice stars! It's your friend and mentor, Bailey Varnas here, also known as the Vocal Supermodel. So today's video is part eight in our Perfect American Accent series, and we are going to learn about nasal continuance and lateral consonants. Oh yeah. We're getting fancy. <laughs> now, before we get started, as always, I want to make sure you have already watched the introduction video for this series that I'll have linked below in the description. Because in it, there's an assignment for you to do so that you have a good recording of your natural sound before you learn this material, and then you'll record your new sound after you finish this course. So be sure to watch that and record your before so that you can see your growth once you're done. And if you've already watched and recorded yourself, then let's get started. So today, we're going to work on consonants that are known as nasal continuants and laterals. So there are three nasal continuant sounds and one lateral sound, and they are m, n, n, and l. So let's start with the nasal continuants. So as you can hear in its name, these consonants all have nasal qualities to them. That means you have to allow sound to resonate and come out through your nose in order to form the sounds properly. So if you've ever heard someone talk when they have a cold or some other kind of sinus blocking illness, you may have heard someone say, oh, their voice sounds really nasal because they're sick. And that's actually the opposite of what's happening. You need nasal resonance to make these consonants. So if you're blocked up, your voice actually sounds very denasalized. So you can say that the next time you hear someone sounding stuffed up while they're sick. You can say, wow, you're sounding so denasalized right now. <laughs> and they'll probably be really annoyed with you for being so nerdy while they don't feel well, but you'll be right. <laughs> so on that note, let's jump in with the first nasal continuant, mm. So the placement for the correct pronunciation of mm is a relaxed lower jaw, your tongue relaxed on the floor of your mouth, you close your lips, you lower your soft palate to allow nasal resonance, and you add vibrated breath to make the sound. So that's the proper placement for the consonant mm. Now, let's just try saying it a few times. Mm. 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 So now let's say a few mm words for practice. So repeat after me. 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 Mood. 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 Many. 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 Gleam. 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 Come. 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 Game, game, game. Dreams, dreams, dreams. Trimmed, trimmed, trimmed. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the mm sound is really working for you. The magic show mesmerized and amazed. The magic show mesmerized and amazed. Mountain climbers see magnificent storms. Mountain climbers see magnificent storms. My lemonade made a mess. My lemonade made a mess. A calm team fixed multiple malfunctions. A calm team fixed multiple malfunctions. 
So those are a few ways the mm sound can present itself. So listen for the mm sound in words that you hear, hear the different ways that it comes up, and practice with more words in your perfect American accent workbook. But for now, we are going to move on to the next nasal continuant, n. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of n is a relaxed lower jaw, the tip of your tongue touches your gum ridge behind your upper front teeth. You open your mouth very slightly. You lower your soft palate to allow the nasal resonance. And you add vibrated breath to make the sound. So that's the proper placement for the consonant N. Now, let's just try saying it a few times. N. 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 So now let's say a few n words for practice. So repeat after me. Net. 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 Nap. 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 Normal. 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 Since. Since. Since dawn, 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 upon, 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 money, 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 romance. Romance, romance. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the n sound is really working for you. The noisy neighbors made national news. The noisy neighbors made national news. The nurse trained in nutrition. The nurse trained in nutrition. A novel about vibrant landscapes. A novel about vibrant landscapes. He's nervous about a location in town. He's nervous about a location in town. So those are a few ways the n sound can present itself. So listen for the n sound in words that you hear, hear the different ways that it comes up, and practice with more words in your workbook. And now we are going to move on to the next nasal continuant, ng. So it's very similar to the n sound and often gets replaced by the n sound in certain dialects, but it's slightly different. And in English, you're never going to hear the ng sound at the beginning of a word. You'll only ever hear it in the middle or at the end of words. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of ng is a relaxed lower jaw, the back of your tongue is raised toward your soft palate, you open your mouth very slightly, and you add vibrated breath to make the sound. So it's different from the n sound, because with n, the front of your tongue is up, and with ng, the back of your tongue is up. So that's the proper placement for the consonant ng. Now, let's just try saying it a few times. Ng, ng. Mm. So now, let's say a few ng mm words for practice. So repeat after me. Sing, sing, sing. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Among, among, among. Calming, calming, calming. Sink, 
sink, sink, trunk, 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 clinging, 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 puncture, puncture, puncture. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the ng sound is really working for you. A strong young king. A strong young king. She was hungry and longing. She was hungry and longing. My uncle sings of penguins. My uncle sings of penguins. The long triangular fangs. The long triangular fangs. So those are a few ways the ng sound can present itself. So listen for the ng sound in words that you hear, hear the different ways that it comes up, and practice with more words in your workbook. And finally, we are going to move away from nasal continuants onto the only lateral consonant in the English language, ul. So the mechanical placement for the correct pronunciation of ul is a relaxed lower jaw, the tip of your tongue touches your gum ridge behind your upper front teeth. You open your mouth very slightly and you add vibrated breath to make the sound. So that's the proper placement for the consonant ul. Now, let's just try saying it a few times. Ul, ul, ul. So now, let's say a few ul words for practice. So, repeat after me. Look. Look, look, loud, 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 lower, 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 silly, 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 meal, meal. Meal, pill, 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 sailor, 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 battle, battle, battle. Now we're going to do a few short sentences to make sure the ul sound is really working for you. The little lamb leaped. The little lamb leaped. A tall lighthouse was lit daily. A tall lighthouse was lit daily. My girl proudly listened to the lecture. My girl proudly listened to the lecture. The children played in the colorful valley. The children played in the colorful valley. So, those are a few ways the ul sound can present itself. So, listen for the ul sound in words that you hear, hear the different ways that it comes up or doesn't come up. So, those are the nasal, continuant, and lateral consonants. So, it can be a really helpful exercise to say them in order so that you can physically feel the difference in your mouth. So, they should sound like this. Mm, mm, mm. 
So that's a great way to practice and make sure that you're feeling and experiencing the subtle differences in your mouth. Now, in the next video, we're going to move on to fricatives and get our lips and teeth extra involved with our consonant sounds. But for now, get to practicing by using your Perfect American Accent Workbook. If you don't have the workbook yet, there's a link to it in the description area. I will send it right to you, and you can get to perfecting those nasal continuance and laterals. So keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next one.